Republican Senator Tim Scott and Vice President of the United States Kamala Harris says, America is not a racist country. As Oprah Winfrey says, what? And we're going to talk about it when we get back. I'm CLM2 for Style with Power, the channel that helps empower men through style. Happy Monday, everyone. We hope everyone out there had a fantastic weekend. I know my weekend was really, really great as I went and got my second shot, my second vaccination shot. So I've completed my shots and now I believe three weeks from now, I will be totally vaccinated and um, ready to face the world as the world opens up. So I hope you're out there going out there and getting your shot and you are following CDC guidelines. We want to get back to normal as the world will be opening up slowly but surely. And here on the East Coast, uh, things are starting to ramp up. And by July, we should all be uh, ready to hang out, party, get together. Masks will be coming off slowly but surely but that's where we're headed. Well, in today's episode, we're going to talk about two things um, in our Hot Topics sec uh, segment, Hot Topics and Current Events. We're gonna talk about the comments by uh, Republican Senator Tim Scott and Vice President Kamala Harris, who believes that America is not a racist country. And in our second segment, which is called, what should I do in this situation? We're going to talk about the comment that Steve Harvey made when he says, men and women cannot be friends. That should be interesting. So let's start off with our first segment, hot topics and current events. So Senator Tim Scott, was the uh, Republican senator who did the rebuttal to the uh, State of the Union speech by uh, President Joe Biden. And um, this is a little bit of what he had to say, but the main point is he said that America is not a racist country. Let's take a look at this video. When America comes together, we've made tremendous progress but powerful forces want to pull us apart. A hundred years ago, kids in classrooms were taught the color of their skin was their most important characteristic. And if they looked a certain way, they were inferior. Today, kids are being taught that the color of their skin defines them again. And if they look a certain way, they're an oppressor. From colleges to corporations to our culture, people are making money and gaining power by pretending we haven't made any progress at all, by doubling down on the divisions we've worked so hard to heal. You know this stuff is wrong. Hear me clearly. America is not a racist country. It's backwards to fight discrimination with different types of discrimination, and it's wrong to try to use our painful past to dishonestly shut down debates in the present. So as you can see from that video, uh, he hit on a few points, but the main point was that America is not a racist country. So of course, um, we had the lovely vice president, first black uh, woman, first black person to be vice president of these here United States. And we had her comment on Good Morning America about the Tim Scott comment. And this is what she had to say. President Kamala Harris is now joining us live. Madam Vice President, it is good to see you. Good morning to you. And we've been talking good morning. about- Good morning. Good morning. That, that historic 
image seeing you and House Speaker Pelosi. Senator Tim Scott said last night that America is not a racist country. Do you agree with that? And what do you make of his warning against fighting discrimination with more discrimination? I believe that we need to address, well, first of all, no, I don't think America is a racist country, but we also do have to speak truth about the history of racism in our country and its, and its existence today. And I, I applaud the president for always having the ability and the courage, frankly, to speak the truth about it. He spoke what we know from the intelligence community. One of the greatest threats to our national security is domestic terrorism manifested by white supremacists. And so these are issues that we must confront. And it doesn't, it does not help to heal our country, to unify us as a people, to ignore the realities of that. And I think the president has been outstanding and a real national leader. We know on the issue of saying, let's confront the realities and let's deal with it, knowing we all have so much more in common than what separates us. And the idea is that we want to unify the country, but not without um, speaking truth and, and requiring accountability as appropriate. Now, as you can see, both of them believe that America is not a racist country. So the first thing that we did is go do our research. We wanted to look up the word racist. So his was, here was a definition of racist. Racist. Prejudiced against or antagonistic toward a person or people on the basis of their membership in a particular racial or ethnic group. Typically, one that is a minority or marginalized. So let's look at black people in this. Prejudice against, well, as a black person, I can tell you, America has been prejudiced against us for 400 years and counting. Antagonistic toward a person or people on the basis of their membership in a particular racial group. Black people is a racial group. And I believe that America has been antagonistic toward black people. Typically, one that is a minority, well, we're only 12 to 13 percent of the people in this country, so we definitely in the minority. We're not in the minority around the world, but we're in the minority in America. So according to this definition of racist, I would believe that America is a racist country, especially against black people. So to see my brother Tim Scott and my sister Kamala Harris say America is not a racist country, uh, I don't think they're dealing with reality. And, um, you know, it's been going like this for a long time. Who can forget um, our only black Supreme Court justice right now? Clarence Thomas, you know, he, he, he doesn't believe in, um, in programs that will help black people do better in this country. So he doesn't believe in racism. Um, and then we have uh, the gentleman who just left the, the White House, the Trump White House, Mr. Ben Carson, one of the greatest neurosurgeons in the history of this country. Um, and he, you know, he doesn't believe that America is a racist country. So we do have people that look like us who don't believe that America is a racist country. What do you think? You know what? Leave your comments down in the comment section below and let me hear what you think. Me personally, I believe the country is a racist country. And where do I get this from? I just go with the history. And things haven't changed that much Things have gotten a little bit better, but as we can see from the election of Donald Trump, right, after eight years of Barack Obama, the election of Donald Trump just proved that as Barack Obama was serving his eight years, there was a groundswell of people who were racist and supremacist, and they just couldn't wait until they had an opportunity to get one of their own in the White House just to change things around. So is America a racist country? My opinion, yes. But let me know what you think. And we'll see uh, 
what the people out there really, really believe. Well, before we continue, we'd like to let you know that this segment of the show is brought to you by the like button and the subscribe button. So listen, if you like the content that we're giving off here, hey, don't forget to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe as we move closer and closer toward our magic goal of 200 subscribers. And now it's time for what should I do in this situation? Well, Uncle Steve, as we like to call him, Uncle Steve Harvey, I made a comment about 10 years ago when he was um, on a promotional tour for his book, Straight No Chaser. And he was talking about relationships, which that's what he talks about really, really well. And he was saying how uh, men and women cannot be friends. Let's take a look at the video. It's come from I mean, it's a blessing, true enough, but really it was just me sitting down being honest. I talk, all of my friends are men. I don't have female friends. I don't. I'm, I'm incapable of that. Why? And, what do you mean? Well, because, you know, come on. Because you have a wife. Real. Well, I have a wife, and I don't, I don't really have female friends because, look, okay, let's get rid of this <laughs> myth right here. Why. Okay, I'm going to tell you this. Let's get rid of this right here. There, you, you're an attractive woman. There are some guys somewhere saying, yeah, I'm, we're friends. No, that's not true. He's your friend only because you have made it absolutely clear that nothing else is happening except this friendship we have. We remain your friends in hopes that one day there'll be a crack in the door, a chink in the armor, and trust and believe that guy that you think is just your buddy, he will slide in that crack <laughs> the moment he gets the opportunity. Because we're most guys. Men think this way? Uh, 99.9% .9 of us think that way. Well, Uncle Steve makes some very, very good points. Now, me personally, I've asked this question. I've studied things for a long time. I've been around. I'm only a few years younger than Steve Harvey. So we kind of come from the same era, same cloth. And um, I was one of those individuals that believed that men and women can be friends. And you know, I have a lot of female friends. I grew up in a household full of females. I have six sisters. And, um, and I grew up in a household with a single parent, which was my mother. So I understand the female um, psyche. I've been around a lot of women. I work in higher education where we know there's a lot of women in higher education. Um, work for the government, a lot of women in government. So I understand the psyche of a woman. But also, big sports guy. I run a program for young men. Um, I'm constantly talking to my young men be around a lot of men because I'm a sports guy, I hang out with guys and stuff like that when it comes down to sports. And, and then uh, on the higher education tip, we kind of hang out together because as black men, Latino men, we try to stick together to make sure that we can get ahead. So what's the thinking here? Can men and women just be friends? I've seen a lot of situations where they start off as friends and they get to an entanglement. Let's just say they get into an entanglement. What I haven't seen though, is that once they get into the entanglement, I haven't seen a lot of long-term relationships from these entanglements. I see a lot of one-night stands, uh, short-term relationships, hit it and quit it, um, but nothing sustaining. Very few of these friendships turn into loving relationships. It could be that one friend is married or, uh, or one friend has been dating an individual for a long period of time and they talk to each other about their relationships. And then as Steve says, a little crack in the door, maybe um, they having some issues, they're not dating any longer, they both are single at the same time, they need companionship. And usually people feel comfortable with people they know. They rather have companionship with people they know than they have to go out and find someone new. The reason that they're friends is because there's some type of attraction there. 
some type of attraction. And that attraction can lead to an entanglement when things start to get um, a little lonely. You get a little lonely, you want some comfort, and your friend is there, and before you know it, you and your friend are involved in an entanglement. So can men and women really be friends? Um, my opinion, it's very, very difficult. Just human nature. Men want women, women want men. That's just human nature. So um, the friendship part, I don't know. Associate, hi and goodbye, yeah. But if you start, if you really want to be friends, you kind of tell each other secrets, you kind of rely on each other, you get opinions, and that can sometimes lead to entanglements. But hey, let me know what you think. So leave a comment you know, below and on Facebook out. I'll try to put up a poll. Can men and women really be friends? Yeah, very interesting. Well, that's it for this segment of the show. And I will see you next time.